Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that a big moment's coming up for Hope Logan and Thomas Forrester. At some point during the month of March, Thomas will make one final marriage offer and stopgap he eventually gets the answer he's been seeking. Of course, B&B suckers will recall how Thomas popped the question out of the blue in the Forrester Creations design office. Although Hope was flattered, she was also enough flustered over Thomas' engagement ring and snappily pumped the thickets. Hope was at least willing to wear that ring around her neck, so that's kept stopgap alive for Thomas. There have been moments when Hope has concentrated on that ring and offered some positive signs about moving it to her cutlet eventually. Thomas keeps averring he can stay for Hope to be ready, but he's obviously eager to plan their marriage ASAP. It looks like Thomas won't be suitable to contain his excitement any longer, so he may produce a veritably romantic night for Hope and count on a more elaborate marriage offer paying off. There's no evidence on what Hope's answer will be just yet but the rearmost March spoilers offer some good suggestions. For starters, the fact that this is supposed to be a final offer of marriage is significant. Thomas seems like he's willing to just keep asking until the end of time, so there must be a reason if he's not going to ask presently. Maybe Hope will say yes and officially come Thomas' fiancé. That would exclude the need to ask again, so Hope is presumably going to come Thomas' bridegroom, to be. B&B spoilers also point out that after one last marriage offer is made, lives will be altered permanently. That could be a hint about Hope marrying into the Forrester family, which could clearly affect plenitude of characters. Nothing important would change if Hope turned Thomas down again, since he'd just keep asking and hoping for the stylish. Likewise, Hope's rejection presumably wouldn't alter lives permanently unless Thomas went back off the rails. Since the spoilers make it sound like Hope's answer will be what changes effects, it seems like she's going to accept Thomas' marriage offer and put his ring on her cutlet in the end. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Thomas and Hope's marriage could be in the workshop soon, so stick with us for updates on all the huge news ahead. Hope offers help, Liam threatens Finn, Zend confronts RJ. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Thursday, March 7, indicate that Steffi Forrester tells Hope Logan to stop trying to run her marriage. Hope has talked to John Finn Finnegan and warns her not to let Sheila Carter's death separate them. Liam Spencer tells Finn that if he isn't going to support Steffi, he will. Luna Nozawa is at the office when Poppy Nozawa finds her. Luna believes RJ Forrester deserves the verity. Zend Forrester stops by to speak with RJ. Zend Forrester tries to stake his claim the bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Zend wants to talk to RJ about how lucky he is. RJ doesn't need Zen to tell him how special Luna is. RJ says he and Luna aren't just having fun, they're in a married relationship. Zend isn't going to be with Luna. RJ needs to go to the office and see her gal. B&B Recap Liam Spencer threatens to go after Steffi Forrester Finn tells Liam that he needs to realize that Steffi is his woman. Meanwhile, Steffi tells Hope to stop acting like she knows further about this than she does. Hope tries to explain how this is affecting Finn. Finn doesn't need Liam putting him on blast over it. Hope tells Steffi that everyone knows this was tone defense. Every time Steffi closes her eyes she sees herself killing Sheila. Hope apologizes, this wasn't the time of place for this. Hope just knows that she talked to Finn and just wanted to give her the heads up. Steffi says she and Finn will get through this. Steffi won't let this disrupt her life with Finn. Steffi continues to relive that night at her house. Finn comes to visit and tells her how important he misses her. Finn doesn't want to let this come between them. Finn feels like a connection has been cut. Steffi knows Finn is floundering. Steffi is floundering too. Steffi killed someone and she is trying to come to terms with that. Steffi says the memory haunts her. Finn says they can't let this tear them piecemeal. Steffi prodigies if Finn can ever look at her that same. Steffi justifications to Finn. Poppy Nozawa offers bad advice Luna says Poppy's mints turned her life upside down. Poppy urges Luna to not tell Zend. 
Poppy tells Luna to cover herself. Luna isn't trying to cover herself. Luna is willing to tell RJ the verity. Luna is staying quiet because she doesn't want to disrupt everything. Luna is alarmed that this secret will ruin everything in her life. Luna says everything was coming together and now everything is different. Luna loves RJ, but she slept with Zend and that's right under the face. RJ and Zend drop by. Luna says it makes her emotional knowing everything they've to aesthetics forward to. Luna kisses RJ and hugs him. Was there a witness to Sheila's murder stabbing? The bold and the beautiful spoilers tell us that Steffi Forrester might not be suitable to get down with this too smoothly. That's because there's a strong possibility that there might have been a substantiation to Sheila Carter's pecking. As numerous suckers know formerly, it was Steffi who fatally twisted a cutter into Sheila's heart before she took her final breath. Keep reading below for everything you need to know. The bold and the beautiful spoilers was there a witness to Sheila's murder stabbing? There's a strong possibility that someone might have seen Steffi and Sheila's final sweepstakes, which means the Forrester creation's gift is going to face some heavy consequences if she gets charged with her murder. To make matters worse, Sheila didn't have a gun or cutter on her, which means Steffi is going to get in indeed further trouble, because she can't say that she was trying to defend herself. Of course, numerous the bold and the beautiful suckers have had a lot to say about this plot on social media. Some have indeed reflected with, this substantiation will presumably be a factory paid by Sheila to swear against Steffi. I prognosticate, this won't be good for Steffi. On with, wind balls? So now Stephanie dragged Sheila into her house so that she could impale her for vengeance? Please stop making a mockery of the law. I know it's a cleaner but geez louise, let's make this partial way credible. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, what's next for Steffi Forrester? Another BNB critic wrote, I am sure the pens could arrange for one. Sounds like Baker is picking up on my proposition about Steffi setting Sheila up by draining her and baiting a trap for her. I don't suppose that's what Steffi did, but it sure could look that way the way effects went down that day. It goes without saying that the bold and the beautiful suckers will simply have to tune in to find out what will be next. The bold and the beautiful charade weekdays on the CBS network. Check your original rosters for times. Tell us, what do you suppose about this story? Leave us your studies in our commentary section below. Also, watch this space for all of the rare most breaking news. Future of Shin The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Thursday, March 7th reveal that Finn and Steffi will finally face each other for the first time since Sheila's death. It would be nice if Finn realizes his mistake and decides to be there for Steffi from now on. However, this is a soap opera, so that might not happen as it's not dramatic or juicy enough. Most likely, Finn only focuses on Steffi telling Liam about their business. It's not the real issue, but Finn also really doesn't seem like himself. Even Finn seemed confused as to why he had sympathy for Sheila. So, this could be a brain tumor storyline as well.